Why would someone choose a less invasive option rather than a surgical option? I, 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 number one thing is, do you really need it or not? I think at the beginning, more people are going to be needing, and, and especially for smaller things where there's wrinkles in the forehead or mm -hmm. wrinkles in the in the area of the crow's feet, those are things that can be treated very easily with a neuromodulator such as Botox or your, your Dysport. So there's situations where you really do not need a surgical intervention, especially when you're younger. Um, so there's smaller things, there's small con there concerns sometimes of the skin texture um, that do, they do not need any surgical intervention and they can be treated or addressed well with, with uh, non-invasive interventions. What are some of the most common non-invasive procedures that you see in your office? So fillers, number of fillers and um, application of the neuromodulator such as Botox. Um, you will also have chemical peels. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you can also have uh, chemical peels as well and uh, um, laser resurfacing will be some that get done as well. Um, but if we could can go specifically talking about here about, uh, um, well, eventually we'll light up in here. Um, one of the things you'll see is in this area where you have wrinkles in this area, these are things mm -hmm. that can be addressed very easily with Botox. And then you will have, especially this area as well, this can be addressed with Botox. And these are your crow's feet. So crow's feet, forehead. Forehead. We're Upper looking third. at injections, yes, injectables. Can be injections with the uh, injections. And even the platysmal line sometimes can be addressed with, uh, with, with your Botox. Your fillers, which is uh, the volume fillers, they will be for this area, the nasolabial mm -hmm. folds, the transition here in your, between your eye and your nose, we call this a nas nasojugular region. This is the areas where you want to transition that area or, or the sagging, the bags that you're in this area. You can also put fillers to give the impression that this area is smooth. We can also use fillers in this area in the cheeks to okay. pull the face a little bit and you get a little bit of that liquid facelift. Some people are actually putting fillers now on the tip of the nose to change the, cha the, the, the shape of the nose as well. Really? So those are things that a we're doing A non-surgical nose job? No, non-surgical <laughs> nose job. So that's something that little by little I think it's a trend that it's happening. And obviously the most common thing that we're seeing in younger girls is the lips. They want larger, fuller, more defined lips so we put fillers in the lips, usually in the what we would call the vermilion borders, mm -hmm. which are the edges of the lips, and that will allow her to have a well-defined lip, and then you can get a little bit of volume in the lips as well.